Hello folks, this is Chambles RNG and welcome to another playthrough part chapter of the story of Mr. Green, the troll fighter of Wu Jiang Council. He is a successor of Andrew the Wanderer, our first character on the channel. Um, some say that Andrew changed his form. He miscasted his spider form transmutation spell and became Mr. Green. So, um, yeah, that's why um, we've played Mr. Green last time, just after Andrew's horrible stinging to death by bees, or by a bee. To be precise. So yeah, that was part zero, and Mr. Green already uh, started on a big note, high note, I should say. Um, we're clearing the Bailey with um, undead Bailey with the vampire um, boss at the end. Nice vault. Go check it out. This one will be part one. So let's do a proper introduction of Andrew, shall we? Uh, sorry, Mr. Green. Um, Mr. Green, that used to be Andrew. We just exited the Bailey last episode. Let me show you Mr. Green then. Mr. Green, the gla grappler. All right, nice title. Our intelligence is really low. Uh, that's because of the items we've got. We are uh, the followers of the Wu Jiang Council. There's a reason for that, actually. I'm following a guide here, a guide I, find I found online on the uh, wiki. I will post a link to the guide in the description. It was very interesting. It was um, praising the, um, the strength of the um, statue, statue form that uh, we'll be using in the late game. So, yeah, I, I want to try that out. That was very interesting. Unarmed troll fighter with a shield at the beginning to make it more survivable, I guess. Um, aiming for the statue form in the late game. So after, I think, our unarmed combat gets to 23 or something, we're going to switch uh, to training um, transmutations and stuff so yeah um i've changed this a little bit because i love throwing so much i love throwing stuff in this game that's why i, I couldn't help myself but uh train a little thro throwing i'll make my our, our character even stronger i would say because uh, well we don't have many throwing weapons yet but i'm sure we're gonna find some large rocks and, and javelins and whatnot so speaking of items um in the bailey we found some crazy good artifacts three of them to be precise that we can use we found this ring of a tortoise that i've put on straight away because it's just wonderful for our survivability in the early game here plus eight armor class that's just perfect for us um then we got this nice little uh, swarm dragon scales. It was very convenient to find because we can um, not use many types of armor on this character, but we can indeed use this. Zahagatsev is his name. It gives us rampage that I like actually on the melee character. And it will go nicely uh, together with the Vujian Council um, lunges and lashes and, 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 and all. Uh, resistance of poison is always great to have, a must have, you know, in, in many areas. Um, um, areas that are um, shortly coming up, uh, like Le and Spider Caverns and, and all that, and Swamp. Plus two will, uh, it's, it's just phenomenal, you know. Uh, what can you say? Um, see invisible, also uh, nifty, yeah, helpful in many scenarios. 
uh, deal with them pesky uh, unseen horrors. But the intelligence minus five is uh, it's it's um, making it difficult because we have already got minus five intelligence from the, uh, some other item I remember. Yeah, from this amulet of Belg esteem. It gives us. Uh, <clears throat> Great stats, you know, region, fire resistance, electric resistance, it's just, it's just beautiful, man. But the intelligence, minus five. We are actually um, investing in intelligence, you know, um, actively on our leveling up here. But um, we're already level nine, so we just uh, increased our intelligence actually at two points, and it's only on three. So we cannot really afford uh, wearing uh, one of them items. Let us wear this and see how much it drains our intelligence. Wearing this item will reduce your intelligence to zero or below. Yeah, that's it. And I'm not sure if I take it off immediately, it will, if, if, the, um, if the debuffs go away uh, straight away, or is it like I'm I've been drained and I need to um, you know get experience to to, to um, uh, well let's let's see let's see how it works. Yeah, let's put it on. You feel rampage. You can move again. Oh. You feel stupid. So minus two intelligence. What does it do to our character? I never had minus stats before. Um, well, 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 can we see that here? Um, your movement speed is very slow. You are slowed. You have no intelligence. You cannot read scrolls. So it slows us a lot. You are very slow. So not, 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 not good at all. So let's see. How slow do we move? It's turn number um, 440. Now it's 4419. So it takes uh, a turn and a half to move. So that's not ideal. That's really bad, actually. Uh, we're supposed to be a ninja of Wu Jian. So we can't move slow. So, which of them items do you want to wear around now? Um, the will is great for surviving stuff, you know. Um, if you encounter magic users, that's uh, go uh, a long way. The resist fire and region. Um, helps us uh, i think f well not maybe not, not the resist fire but the region helps us a lot um throughout every encounter we have right not not only uh, against magic users but every encounter um there's this poison um would be great in the future so maybe you'll be, we'll have to switch to the armor, but I think I'm gonna uh, wear the amulet for now, and then see how it goes. Um, we'll see. Um, I took off the armor, but the uh, the debuffs stayed. We still slowed, lost intelligence. Uh, lost uh, intelligence, unable to read, and very slow. But let us wait a little bit. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, resting up uh, got rid of these debuffs, so that's good. So yeah, I think we're gonna uh, change to the armor and take off the uh, amulet after um, we go to the lair or. Uh, well, we don't need the will in the lair, but we, we, we do like the resist poison. And last but not least, we've got this short, short sword, um, Kairutsi, which also has resist poison. It's also a Vorpal. But this right here, resist neg negative energy. Three dots, three pips. It's just astonishing, you know? It's 
beautiful we'll be uh, keeping this uh, guy um, around for sure we'll be um, wielding it when we encounter a scary uh, uh, negative energy using a monster that we want to run out from or maybe um, get closer to and then switch back to our uh, unarmed when we are um, closer by so uh, as um, we'll be able to be as safe as possible around uh, negative energy users uh, got minus mana points but we don't care about them yet uh, also dexterity which uh, likewise we don't care that much about so yeah that was pretty great um, great uh, vault over there yeah Mr. Green is growing stronger Uh, this is dungeon level 7. I'm not sure if I um, um, explored this level 6. We'll go upstairs for a sec just to, to see. There's also a, uh, a temple on this level, but we are already a Vujian council um, followers. I think we found the altar of the council uh, early on, so we don't really care. Let's go downstairs first, actually, have a look what's down there, just a small little peek, maybe an item or something, a worthwhile, some gold, I'll take gold, never say no to gold. Now let's go back upstairs, I like doing that just in case we get shafted, you know, we know where the staircase is and Sometimes you get free items or experience while doing that. There's a potion, potion of haste, that's good. Murder the dog. And the bear. Oh. Gets scarier when it's enraged. Wait for this guy. Hope to lash at him. There's a temple. Some spells. But we don't really care about any spells apart from um, statue form, which we will get later. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, leveling up shields. More defense for us. Another doggo. Gathering items. There's an ice beast. Shouldn't be a problem for us at this stage. Alright, another bear. Let's wait for him to move. Oh, he moved the wrong direction, but nothing we can't fix. And let's try to lunge at him now to deal some extra damage with the council. Yeah, look, look at that. We severely wounded him. He didn't even have a chance to. Uh, go into berserk mode And there you go, this is what I'm talking about Picking downstairs, finding a potion of might And some free XP Perfect I wonder what, what this structure is um, Maybe there's some loot inside Some weapons Not using weapons though Alright, let's go even further downstairs, uh, in case we get shafted, we will map this area a little bit more, not too much though. The only downside is if you go uh, down the, this many stairs, uh, it's um, when you find the uh, area that, uh, like a portal area, like the Bailey or, or, or um, whatever, whatever else. Um, and you're not prepared, you know, because it's f uh, far downstairs. Um, so that's the only downside, I guess, of going down. Uh, encountering uh, out of depth monsters, of course, is the downside that you cannot escape from. But I'm sure we can deal with these monkeys. And then 
They made a lot of noise. Maybe we will attract uh, monsters here, but we will know where to be seen. And next time we get down, we'll be safer, right? Alrighty, there was another staircase here. Let's have a look. Oh, nice. The bear doesn't see us, so maybe if we go uh, down a bit, he goes in another direction. No, he goes the same direction, actually. So I think he's bound to see us now, but no worries. We will take this uh, Vivern or Vivern, or how do you pronounce his name, upstairs. Kill it here. Region, go down and finish up the bear. Nice. Take these items. There's an option of going even further down. So let's map these areas for our future benefit. Oh, there are some bees. All right, let's have revenge for Andrew. This is what we're talking about, right? We are in a uh, nice little corridor. And uh, we can have revenge. Oh, I hate them bees so much, man. Freaking fucking bees, look at this. Look at this. They even uh, posing a threat to Mr. Green. How this is freaking possible. No worries. Level 10, baby. Our revenge. Gotten. And we can go back to level 7 and resume exploring here. I like those kind of characters, you know, uh, it's very interesting. Um, not only is it a um, tanky troll uh, using his claws, that's always nice. And actually, I took off my armor, but I forgot to wear uh, the robe we've got. It's a little bit more AC, so uh, no downside using that. Of course, you can't put the robe when there is an enemy inside. I, I overlooked the little, the little pesky snake. So let's dispatch of him real quick. And, and wear our robe of the Arc Magi, which um, doesn't do much for us apart from this two AC. But there's a ring. Is it a poison ring? A ring of slaying. Oh, good. Ring of slaying is good indeed. So. At this stage of the game, I prefer it over the uh, <coughs> fire immunity, or fire protection. So I put it on. Uh, we got a, a lot of fire uh, protection available to us. <coughs> um, so that's good, that's good. We shall be needing some protection uh, soon enough. Yeah, I see that we haven't explored the level 6 actually totally, or at least, yeah, so let's do that, eh? I think we were um, just exploring uh, the staircases up, down, sorry, when we encountered the Bailey. And when then we decided to, uh, to go down and see. Uh, now let's finish up exploring um dungeon six and there's grinder all right this guy is especially scary on the early floors um he can uh, paralyze you uh inflict pain on you and stuff and he doesn't see us now so this is a good opportunity to try and run from him And try going upstairs. Oh, I never I, uh, even make an annotation that Grinder is nearby. Let us uh, take off the amulet, uh, lowers our intelligence, and let's put the plus will armor so Grinder uh, cannot, um, so the Grinder cannot paralyze us. Yeah, enter the level anyway. And let's um, fight him on our terms. And 
paralyzed chance was 50%, now it's down to 2%, so now we don't have to worry about his spells. And let's just kill him, right? Shall we? Oh, yeah, and that reminds me about yet another OP item that we found and that we actually used to kill the vampire um, guarding the artifacts. Go watch the uh, part zero, guys, by the way. That was an epic, epic struggle against the vampire there. Uh, we managed to, at the last second, find this uh, lightning rod um, to deal with the uh, undead there. Uh, so that was great. We've got another a tool to our um, to our advantage here. And let's, let's uh, finish up um, exploring River Six. All right, good that we've got this this armor still on because now we're encountering these wizards that can also paralyze you. I think. No, they can confuse you. Yeah, one percent. No confusing us today, guys. Oh no, but they are on the other side of deep water, eh? So we won't be able to get to them. I don't think we have any invisible um, flying items. Maybe we've got a portion of light. Maybe, but not identified. And by the way, we've got four scrolls of identify, so I need to identify some portions actually. So let's get out of the way. And let's identify some portions <laughs> portion of attraction portion of muta mutation portion of magic and portion of brilliance not that good attraction is alright and we we're finding centaurs maybe you can attract them to us um, Mutation, I'm always so tempted, man, to use the mutations. I, I love RNG, man, you can tell. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll be using them, but I'll wait still uh, to get a couple more uh, to get the roulette going. We don't need actually magic or brilliance at all on this character, uh, I don't think. Uh, we'll carry them for now and drop them later on the uh, lower levels. Maybe there is a scenario after we uh, are casting statue form that we might need them and get them later. Alright, so I guess there is another way to get to these guys. Let us quickly see here. Oh no, I don't, I don't think there is any other way. They're just guarding this hatch. Well, I leave you be, guys. <laughs> well, auto explorer doesn't wanna go anywhere do you actually not have any flying no we don't have flying right no. oh well no auto exploring this area for us let's zoom out actually and see what's going on here maybe we've explored the floor already uh, now after killing grinder and I don't think there's any um, downside of killing this uh, Null imposter here with the fake beard. <laughs> um, he's not a threat anymore to us. Um, does he cast spells? No. So let's switch back to, um, to our Emmy of regeneration. Just in case this guy damages us too much. No issues there. Do we have a cloak on this character? No. So yeah, even got a cloak out of him. That's always um, one AC more, right? Never say no to that. There's a hammer, we don't need it though. But yeah, good that I came back, killed a couple of bosses. Oh, I wonder what was the uh, loot of Grinder there? Uh, did he drop anything? Where, where, where was his? Where did we find him? 
Mm, let us see what's what's lying on the floor in the on this level. Nope, nothing much. There's a Siv Muna Cuarto of Jinxen. <laughs> nice name. Which um, oh yeah, this is the the other thing that the orcs are guide, guarding, I guess. But we don't need slow, so. But if this contained statue form and we overlooked it, that would be poor. All right. All right. Let's go downstairs, shall we? You see here the plus one leather armor of harm, intelligence, and slay. Uh, we can't use it anyways. Well, that's quite interesting item. Slay and intelligence we do need. That's not a potion, potion, useless potion of magic. Iguana. It has some gnolls. Yusuf buddies. I'm not sure what's the story about Yusuf. If anyone knows, let me know. I need to Google him. It's pretty interesting. I wonder if his own buddies imprisoned him because he was so annoying. To be around, you know. All right, dungeon seven done. Let's go dungeon eight. I need to s speed up my gameplay a little bit because um, playing uh, Andrew, you know, I took so much time talking. Uh, I barely made progress. We do want to make progress, don't we? Don't we? Alrighty, we got some stones far away. Let us see how good our throwing is. Apparently, not against the beast, ice beast. We need some boomerangs or, or large stones pretty badly. There's the armor shop. Uh, we don't really care about armor that much. There's nothing here, man. Man. What a useless store, The yak moves out of view. The yak battles. Here, battle. Alright, so there will be some yaks coming our way. I don't think we need to be concerned. I think we can stay, uh, stand our ground here. Let us poison them. So they die quicker. Oh, they're actually doing us some damage, so let us actually retreat a little bit. It's all good though. We got our regeneration. And I forgot to put on the robes right yet again. Uh, very forgetful when recording. Um, there's a eight for you. Not very interesting, to be honest. So it was like what a wyvern and, and a herd of yaks, and that's it. Pretty boring, eh? The completely useless shop. Well, I'm never coming back to this floor again. There's a wand of digging. That's a good utility item. Uh, sometimes. Very nice. We could probably get to the, uh, the two orcs upstairs if we wanted to, if they went, but I don't want to waste charges on them. Alright. An unarmed combat at level 10. That's nice to see. Let's get. Uh, oops. Let's get rid of these yaks. Now you had a glimpse who inspired me to uh, actually to make videos. So check out this guy, he's very good. And there's two priests. 
I know they can smite you, but I'm not sure if they can actually uh, hex you. So I'm not sure if there is any reason for us to switch to our uh, scales if there's no wizards around. So let us just wait for them around the corner, shall we? And let's jump on them with the Wujang and we kill one of them immediately. We mangle him. To be precise, I love to see that man. I hate them. They ruined so many runs of mine already in the early game. All right, there's a stone book, stone arrow, animate armor, but not the statue form. So we have to wait for that. And you find the artifact sling on the ground. Plus five sling just gives a venomous. Uh, venomous sling um, with strength and dexterity. Now we could be using that, but it's not that spectacular, you know. Um, I need training, um, th throwing um, uh, instead, you know. So I, I think I'll just pass. I'll pass. There's an Orgle. That was early for an Orgle, right? Dungeon 9. That's nice to see. And there's Prince Ribbit. Is he susceptible to poison? Yeah, he's not resistant. So let's let's uh, doubt him. Try to weaken him up. He looks even sicker. And he looks dead. <laughs> All right. I will peek downstairs. I would say I never say no to the free scroll of TP. There's some more. Heal woods potions and scrolls, and gold, another staircase, free gold. If only you could buy something from that gold uh, instead of useless uh, pieces of crap. That was an interesting floor. I'm not sure if we can deal with this at the moment. Do we have any wands? Apart from the digging. Oh. Have a wall of roots. But we actually want the centers to come our way and not rooting them in place and shooting us from afar. So let us wait a pip. To, take, to get this undead closer to us. And one center as well. Perfect. We'll go upstairs. Take care of them. And now I think I want to um, read the scroll of attraction. Oh, was it the uh, potion of attraction? Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Go downstairs. Attract these uh, guys to us so they don't stop shooting us and just kill them all. Uh, nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Did they drop anything of yours? Nope. There's another store though. Maybe you can finally spend some dough. This book of vapors. No statue form though. A potion of cancellation was always great. And we would identify it as well by buying it. There's a ring of positive energy. We've got the dagger already, so I don't think it's as necessary now. There's a skull of blinking though. I think I'll get the skull of blinking right now. 
because I love me some Blinken. There we are. We've got, I think we've got six scrolls of TP, so I will just mark it. Maybe we come back, it's very cheap, so that's fine. I'll also mark the ring, you never know. We might not be using the dagger in the future. Uh, and the ring might be useful. I'll dab it though, but you never know. Oh. And I'll mark the, um, the potion of consolation as well. I get more wealthy, I'll get, I'll get the potion probably. Let us explore here level 11 a little bit. And we've got an opportunity to go to level 12. Um, that's a little scary. Kirkai, weaver of myths, the master of transformation and treachery. Beware, or you may be the next swine to draw in her herd. That's um, pretty intimidating. And she's got the ability Porcolator. Alrighty, what's that? Transform the target into a pig. The target moves swiftly, but cannot cast spells. The cast of demise will cause the transformation to end. So what, you can only unpork when you die? That's freaking horrible, man. And she's got 71% chance of porcolating us. She's not very good at melee. Let's see her other abilities. I never countered the girl. I've seen her being slain in some let's plays, but I never looked closer at her. I summon a powerful exotic creature. A manticore, a lindworm, or even a sphinx. That's worrisome. I can handle a manticore, I think, but I'm not sure I can handle a sphinx. Abjuration? Oh, so it's uh, like anti-summoning spell. Uh, she can turn invisible as well. And I can slow us. So we're not fighting it without our armor, but are we safe against her without our, with our armor? Let us see, I'll go upstairs real quick. I'll put on the armor. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks game. I need to take this amulet, amulet off first. Let us put the armor. We feel stupid again. Now we can see invisible and are pretty resistant to her spells, I would imagine. So let's go downstairs and let's see. She's not moving closer. Oh. But the porcolator and slow, it's only 10% now. So if, if she doesn't um, summon anything uh, very uh, terrible, I think we'll be able to defeat her. We can always escape from her summons by going upstairs because I don't think summons follow you. So let us go up, kill some of these pigs. I know these are humans, but I don't care. Oh, and she summoned the manticore. So let's kill the pig. Oh, and she's right here. All right. I think I'll actually. Um, drink a potion of might that we just found just to kill her sooner the manticore is not <laughs> doing anything because it's blocked by a pig so that's great oh but now it's got opening so i think i'm gonna go one tile up just to prevent this manticore to getting closer to us oh but the pig moved up as well that's not good. There we go. Do you want a potion, potion of haste just to be to save, to be safe? We've got three of them. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, 
All right, the Manticore joined the fray. We might be able to deal with this. <laughs> Let's hope so. There we are. And we freed the humans as well. So that's good. I'm not that terrible, guys. You can run away now. Why are you not running upstairs, guys? Oh, well. Do what you're gonna do, guys. I will quickly see what this artifact is. Plus seven long sword of the ethereal god. Flame and strength plus uh, three. Well, we will not be using that, unfortunately, because we're on armed combat. We can go to dungeon 13 just to have a peek. We're still fast and mighty, so you never know. We might be able to conquer some out of depth um, monsters. And look at this, we can go to the very <laughs> bottom of the dungeon. Oh, I don't want to play Auto Explore here. Look at this, all the ugly things. No, thank you. We'll be back though. We'll be back for sure. Alrighty. The humans still hanging around here. Let us let have a little peek around the corner here maybe item no alrighty let us not push our luck further maybe just a little peek here oh I don't want to fight the mosquitoes now alrighty let us get out of here <laughs> we went from dungeon level 9 straight into dungeon level 15 guys in one swoop that's uh, just great, that's uh, just great. Not much else to see in the nearest vicinity here. Neither here. Yeah. So let us explore the rest of Dungeon 9 then, shall we? Every is level 11. Likewise, arm, unarmed combat wise. So that's great. There's some orcs here. So let us retreat a little bit behind this um, corridor here, just in case there is some uh, priests lurking behind this um, swarm of orcs. Oh, yeah, there's a priest indeed. Still, still can smite you a little bit, so why taking unnecessary damage? Oh, speaking of unnecessary damage, this guy is trigger happy with his crossbow. Oh wow, so many of them. You would assume a uh, an army of orcs like that would guard, uh, guard the uh, entrance to the orcish lair, but I think the orcish lair was up north and it wasn't guarded at all. Maybe these guys were just having a party here. <laughs> it was like uh, this room was full of orcs. <laughs> Uh, we slaughter every single one of them. Look at this. How many weapons there were. And we're done exploring. Alright, so I think it was a nice little episode here. We've um, defeated Kirka. So that was good. So we utilized our um, Swarm Dragon scales for the thing's time. And I think I'll keep it on for now. Uh, we don't really need resist electric uh, yet from the amulet. Same with resist fire. If wars come to wars, we can put on the resist fire ring that we've got. 
regen is great but we have a troll we already regenerated a little bit and we mighty enough that we don't really need it that much uh, and at the same time you know the will will always be good on the armor Resist Poison is coming up soon, Rampage is always great, Seen Invisible as well, so yeah, let's stick to the scales. Gives us a lot of AC as well. Um, yeah, so it might even be better than the region, with all the AC it, it, it gives us. So yeah, I think I will um, um, put a cut here. And we will uh, start with uh, dungeon level 10 next time, guys. Thanks for watching. All the best.